Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I have a really cool tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to animate the gun turret I just made. It's gonna be fairly easy, and uh, let's get started. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna show you how to model this turret. I might do a tutorial on this later, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to animate this. And um, the turret has magazines. Like separate magazines. It has the gun turret itself or the gun. My goal with this design was to have something that you can control from the outside. And I also added some control wheels or rotation wheels that are going to um, be animated so that the turret goes up and down or it's rotating. And I also have some lower parts that are not really significant, just to hold up the gun itself. And also the base, which I'm going to rotate, so that the gun is rotating back and forth on the z-axis. So then we have uh, rotation on the z-axis and the y-axis. And that way the gun can point in all directions, which is really cool. So now we have been through all the uh, parts, so now I'm going to parent them to each other. So select them holding shift and click control P to set parent to objects. And I'm going to select the gun and select the rotation wheel and again click control P and set parent to now I'm going to select the rotation wheel and rotate it on the y-axis and as you can see it now works. So this is the first way to control it. I'm going to set it back to zero and I'm going to keep parenting the rest of the parts. So I'm going to select the next one, hold in shift, click control P and set parent to object. And this part, this part, Control P, set parent to objects. Okay, so now we have all the basics, and I'm gonna start animating it. So as you can see now, I can rotate it on the set axis and rotate the whole gun. And as you can see now, it's fairly easy just to animate whatever you want. I can start off by clicking I to keyframe the rotation and I here also to keyframe the rotation. So let's move forward in time. And I'm gonna rotate this one on the set axis. Move it towards us. And then you can just click I. Then you can select the rotation wheel and rotate it on the y-axis, up and down, whatever you want. And again, I'm just going to click I to keyframe. And you can see now, we have both rotation on the y and the z-axis. Just from these two, you can actually point the gun in any direction. So I'm going to go to the graph editor, and here you can choose what kind of animation you want to have. On the rotation and I'm going to change it to linear by clicking T and selecting linear and that's different from Bezier because Bezier makes it slow in the beginning fast and then slow again but with linear it will have the same speed at all times so you can use different kinds of animations when you make this different kinds of movements Okay, I'm going to rotate it a little bit more and click I to uh, keyframe. And we have an animation. I'm going to show you one more thing in this tutorial. And that's how to make a shooting effect so that it looks like the gun itself is shooting. So at this point, it's going to shoot before it goes down again or turns off 
So let's go back to frame one and start adding shape keys, which is the way to sh change the shape of objects so that you can animate them. Okay, go to the top view with number at seven and we're going to start adding shape keys. So click this one and add a shape key and then add another one which is going to be the change in the object that we're going to change in uh, edit mode. So we're going to select the tip of the gun. So click B to select it in wireframe mode. And we're going to click G then X to grab it on the X axis. So we're going to make a uh, kind of like recoil effect in the gun. So if we change the value of the shape keys now, of key one, you can see that it goes back to give it a kind of a cool shooting effect. So now let's go back to the animation, solid mode, and go forward in time to the point where we want it to shoot. So right there, and I'm gonna click I on the value to keyframe it. So just find a good spot where you want it to shoot, click I. And I'm gonna move, let's say, two frames forward, and bump up the value to one. Click I again, move two frames forward again, and change the value to zero. Click I. So if you go back to see how the animation works now, as you can see, it shoots. And you can always change how much you want to recoil to go backwards and how you want the animation to work. So it's you just have to figure this out yourself. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials in this format, just go to my channel. And thanks for watching.